Welcome to a new episode of TPG Conversations, Five Questions Video Series. I'm Karen New Group Editor of TPG Asia Media. In this episode, we will look at where we are heading with virtual and hybrid event management. Taking us through this topic is Joe Chilibeto, Global Sales and Marketing Director with Events Air, a world-leading event management technology organization. Joe has more than 20 years of experience in sales and marketing, especially in bringing ideas to life by driving award-winning smart technologies and innovations to help educate motivate and generate new business opportunities. Welcome to the show, Joe. Hi, Karen. Thank you for having me on today. Happy to have you. I've got five questions and here's the first. We are now 18 months since the pandemic first hit and business event planners have had you know, plenty of time to get acquainted with virtual and hybrid event management. How is the marketplace in Asia Pac responding to such event formats today? Yeah, good question. I think Asia Pacific as a region has been one of the early adopters in event technology. Without a doubt, um, we're seeing a lot of people using virtual to run a whole range of different styles of events. Everything from trade shows to open days, like universities are using quite a lot for open days, for example, where they can't have contact with students, for example. So it's a really great way to sort of connect with students around the world. Um, and then, you know, trying to get on with business um, as far as using a virtual platform like Events Air or an event management platform to sort of connect with people. Uh, so I think, yeah, Asia Pacific is, is definitely one of the leaders, uh, always being one of the early adopters out, out there as well. Mm -hmm. And we have seen how events first transition from, you know, very simple webinars to the more complex uh, hybrid formats using multimedia. You know, can event formats evolve further and how? Yeah, I think as computing power continues to increase, and data transmission like 5G, for example, and the speed of data and how the, the actual data can get transmitted on different devices these days, event technology will change as well. Um, a lot of the technology around things like um, VR and, and, and AR definitely are, are becoming more prevalent in, that, in this space. But I think also the online experience has improved quite a lot. When you look at the video content and the video production that you can now doing platforms it's changed quite a lot and a lot of event planners are actually becoming like event producers so as far as the content itself how the content's being delivered that's probably a big shift to where we were pre-covid um, so a lot more skill set required but also a lot more sort of benefit for the user experience at the other end as well mm -hmm. and which of these like, changes excite you most joe and why yeah, that's a good question. So one of, one of the things that really excites me is some of the work that we're doing on mobility at the moment. Um, so the idea being that you really have that same immersive experience on a mobile device as you do on your laptop. Uh, and, and the concept is you, you go to a, an in-person event and you're watching a live speaker and then you get called away halfway through. Um, so you, you have to go and you might jump into an Uber or something like that and then you can actually continue actually interacting with the event via mobile phone and, and everything from doing things like video chats uh, to meeting exhibitors to asking questions to the speakers. So that ability to stay connected with an event I think is going to be a really exciting way that events are going to evolve. Uh, so mobility is a big thing. And also the outreach, the ability to sort of outreach different clients around the globe by using the tech as well, where people can't necessarily come to events. So that's been a, a definitely a big advantage of the technology as where it's going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And have these changes inspired new and upcoming developments at Events Air? Look, yeah, without a doubt. Um, we've, we're now up to our version six of the product and it's evolving you know, on, on a monthly basis. The demand in the, in the market is really high for event technology, um, engagement and interactive tools to keep people engaged, but also um, getting a good return on investment on, on what they actually do for online events is very important as well. So you can't replace the atmosphere of an in-person event. I think that definitely will never happen. Um, but the ability to sort of continue running events in an online world uh, is something that's a big benefit for event planners, especially in today's climate. Um, and when events do come back, you know, the ability to add virtual components to your event as a value add will be a strong sort of value proposition for a lot of event planners out there. Mm -hmm. 
And lastly, here's a question that you know you must have considered numerous times yourself. What is the future of business events as governments attempt to resume economic activities even amid on and off lockdowns? And, and what can the private sector do or to facilitate a more stable recovery of, all, of global business events? Yeah, I think it, well, a lot of it is dictated by governments, of course, and, and health restrictions and, and how events run. Um, utilizing tech, the, the worst thing you can do is, is, is cancel events. Um, so as soon as you cancel an event, there is no revenue. There is no way to actually continue doing business. So technology is sort of an enabler to, to, to allow that events to continue, and it should be used that way. Um, as far as the future events, uh, hybrid is here to stay pretty much forever, uh, and it'll just keep evolving. But what it'll allow it to do is expand the reach of your audience and also deliver different type of content for your audience as well. So we're seeing a lot of really cool stuff around concerts, for example, that are that are streamed. And, and these are concerts that people might not necessarily be able to see in their own region or country or territory. So as far as the government role, it's about encouraging technology and adapting to the changing climate that's out there at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And that's all the questions I have for you, Joe. Thank you so much great. for your time. Thank you very much. Thanks, Karen. Take care. And, then, and to everyone else, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next episode. Yeah? Goodbye.